Hello everybody, welcome back to Padfoot TD Games, my name is Zach, I'm the voice behind the icon, and today we are back once again in Ship Sim, but also we are back for our virtual vacation. We had a day to see the other day, which I can only assume was just spectacular here aboard the beautiful Disney Wish, but unfortunately reality is time to set back in. I'm sure at this point I am very excited to go home and see my dogs, see my horses, probably have pasta, wish that we had water at our house. For those of you who don't know, our well is dry. Um, and just enjoy all the little things in life. But I think that this Robbie was such a fantastic vacation. And um, I'm really glad that I got to share it with you guys virtually. And I'm glad that I had the opportunity to actually do it. So we're pulling in here, Port Canaveral. It's just before 6 a.m. Traveling about 12 knots right now. We'll slow down to 10 and 8 inside the channel. Um, gonna go down, turn around, and get ourselves parked at Disney's terminal. And overall, it was really nice to be able to be on the Wish once again uh, here in Ship Sim. A beautiful ship. Great job uh, to Alex, Alex Butte, if anybody's wondering. Uh, you can look him up on Boosty, and you can actually subscribe to him to get access to this ship and a handful of others that he's working on. He's going a little bit uh, slower currently, and that's perfectly fine. Um, sorry, getting this weird thing here. Um, but that's where you're able to find it. I know I've had people ask me that before. So yeah, look it up, in Boosty, Alex. Scroll down. It's 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 older now at this point. A, a year, year and change. But I remember when this came out. I lost my mind when I saw that the Disney Wish was out, and especially one that was so detailed. You know, because we've got Rob's magic and wonder and dream and fantasy and wish and I think he's working on the treasure right now but it is one of those things of like you know it is semi lower quality because Rob makes so many things I, I think if Rob actually uh, remade it now I think his skills are, are there so I'm wondering if he's going to revamp stuff at some time because like his uh, Mardi Gras and Celebration and Jubilee are spectacular. So I'd love to see what he might be able to do. Uh, but when I saw that the, the wish was out from Alex, I was like, yep, that's a no-brainer. And we found a fantasy, and I will say, here, I have located a beautiful dream and a beautiful fantasy uh, that is, like, next-level kind of stuff for detail-wise. Uh, that will eventually be on the channel. I need a. I want the community to calm down a little bit before I go to make those. Um, but, you know, overall, I got stuff. I got stuff coming <laughs> down the pipeline. Uh, I've done the math. If I was to use every ship... I don't want to go that far. What are you doing? If I was to use every ship that I have and do two... I think it was two or three itineraries each... I would have enough for like well over 100 years of episodes. So there's that. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. A lot of people are like, I want you to do this ship. I want you to do this ship. I want you to do this ship. I will get to them eventually. I want a, I want a very large catalog. But as you guys see, it takes a little while to film them. And then I don't want to saturate you guys. So it's, it's like a once a week thing. So you're only going to get 52 episodes of Ship Sim a year. You guys are getting spoiled this year because... Uh, you're getting, you're getting, what, one, two, yeah, you're getting three, I, I guess it's not, no, it's four, four, you're getting four, so, you know, it's not as, uh, deprived as you think, it's, it's, it's four and one. Also, I heard something about Port Canaveral supposed to be getting a new cruise terminal, but I think that's changing, because five days ago, they're not going to get one. And they're showing something about SpaceX? Yeah, so where they were originally going to be doing that, they're going to be putting like a SpaceX kind of handling port, working with that kind of thing. So that's fine. Learning something every day. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, what a nice peaceful morning to be coming in here. 
Let's kind of get ourselves starting to kind of do the swing. It's a nice long jetty over here. So we're going to come down, pull into the basin here, turn around, and Disney's terminal is right in there. Which we've done once before, and I think it was a little tricky. So we're going to have to see how it goes this time. Um, but, you know, I'm actually filming this video on the official start day. You guys don't see it because it's technically when we go down to the airport the day before our flight. Um, so, yeah, I've already got to edit <laughs> the video that needs to come out tomorrow for this whole plan that I'm putting so much effort into uh, for it to come to life. But it's amazing. I can't believe it's already here. It, it is kind of one of those sucky things of the most exciting thing about vacation to me is um, the build up to it. Like, don't get me wrong. Vacations are fun, but you're there, you're in the moment, and then it's gone. So it's one of those things. The build up. Excuse me. Hmm. The build up, the anticipation <clears throat> is always number one. Good. Looking pretty centered. We'll turn a little more as we go in. But yeah, overall, just a, a pretty awesome day. This has been a pretty fun experience to do for you guys. I hope that you guys will enjoy it. I'm sure people are going to like the ship sim part and then tell me to do other ships. That's perfectly fine. Send them to me. Send me what ships you would like to see and if I have those ships I'll add it to my list I actually have a list for the next I think year already so if you want to put in that pre-order <laughs> well well out in advance feel free to do so I would not be sad to have that out there get it straightened out a little bit more we can also I'm gonna undo autopilot Get that down to eight knots. Get ourselves turned. Probably like last time, just for timing of everything, I am probably going to uh, cut out actually going down the canal here. Just because, again, this is more about talking about going home than anything else. I wonder, should I put a little bit of fly, flight in here? Hmm, that is a very good question. Probably not. Because really, the, the main thing this day is getting off the ship. Then I think we go to the airport for a handful of hours before um, our flight. Because I, I don't think our flight gets either back until 6 or we don't leave until 6. Again... The end of the vacation isn't the important part to me, so I don't care. <laughs> but I will look really quick. Let's see. Yeah, flight, actually, fly home's at 3, so we'll arrive home at 6, which is actually nice because that means that we'll be home home by 8. The unfortunate part about that is that we actually can't pick up our dogs until uh, Saturday. But we'll pick them up first thing Saturday morning, and it should be perfectly fine. Oh, I'm already just, I'm so excited for it. I've got this, like, turning in my gut of, of how excited I am about this trip. And I'm really excited about the concept of sharing this with you guys as well. Uh, being able to do that. And I'm also hoping to be able to get the first um, video series set together of Ella and the Frog Dog vids and and really kind of building that channel up to what I'd like it to be up there. So that should be uh, something fun and worth the investment, really, of the time going down. And I can't say the investment of, like, <laughs> the trip itself, because that's not, uh, not how that's going to work. Um, <clears throat> but I think overall, I think it's going to be pretty cool. And then we get to back... Uh, get back to regular life. I guess I can talk a little bit about that as we head down the channel here. Um, when we get back, it's obviously back to work. 
Uh, school's back in session, for those of you who don't know. I'm a technical director at a college, but not at the college. Um, I am literally just there as um, technical director for the theater that happens to be at the college. Um, so I'll be working with the college program as well as working with like the music uh, department and a handful of other things. So that'll be my, my life. Plus, uh, rough plumbing and HVAC should be being installed, uh, hopefully, while we are gone. Once they are done, done, I can actually start doing rough electrical in our house, which is so very exciting as well. <clears throat> Just to kind of get more and more things um, checked off the list, really, of this house. And we'll be able to... You know, once once we're done with the electrical and everything gets approved, we'll be able to start doing final touches and insulation and, and really start making the house a home. So, got twists and excitement, but I think it's going to be pretty awesome. All right, we'll see you guys in just a little bit as we get uh, further down, as we get ready to make that turn, and welcome back home to Port Canaveral. All right, as you can see, we've made the turn around the cargo pier, which is amazing because it didn't used to be what it is now. I've been there for many years, seven years actually, so I know that's going to look completely different. Uh, this was under construction last time we were here, so, you know, the one, two, three, four. There was supposed to be one more over here, or here, I can't remember, but that's been scrapped like I just told you guys. And uh, there's this one that got revamped, and then there's that one. It's grown. It's it's crazy to think that, essentially, ships are looking for places to go, but really Disney helped kind of pave the way for Port Canaveral to expand to what it is today. <coughs> I hope this cough goes away, seeing as I'm going to be on vacation starting today. Still pulling in, keeping it around five knots, nice and <clears throat> calm. Which sucks because, like, when you look on the grand scale of things, it takes so long to move at five knots. But if you watch, like, this gap grow, that's so fast for essentially a building floating through the water. Crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. So I can get right in here, pretty deep in the basin, uh, to the turning circle that's right there and get ourselves turned uh, 180 and backing into our spot get ourselves docked and <clears throat> start the process of turnaround day for uh, all the new cruisers who are going to be boarding the Disney Wish for a three-day Nassau Castaway, not a day at sea, uh, journey, which I could never do a three-day. I'm barely able to do a four-day mentally. Let's, let's check that there. Oh, yeah, I still got plenty of room. I keep that one in reverse. Set you to 18 or 20. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start getting the back end over while drifting to be able to get the front end over here. Because the, the basin is slightly to scale. You know, the, the Disney ship can turn around right in here. These are out just a little bit more than what I'm comfortable with working with. So uh, <clears throat> I'm going to start with swinging around the aft and then we'll worry about swinging around the bow. But as you can see, it actually got brighter out as well. The sun should be coming up maybe towards the end of what we're doing here. Not 100% sure. A little bit more to the rear.
five, four, three, two, one. I want it to be ecstatic. Thank you. Got a little bit brighter. Sun is getting ready to start coming over the horizon. I'll let the bow, <coughs> sorry, the stern do its thing. Uh, let's put in a little bit. In, no, a little bit less. I should got to get quick keys for this because doing it with the mouse is such a pain. I'd actually like to, I tried once. I would like to get this actually mapped to my throttle quadrant that I use for flying. Um, I did get it at one point. Um, see, I'm, I'm checking right now. No, it's not not here right now. But I, I did get it at one point uh, working. Uh, kind of. <laughs> it's only kind of working, and that's why I never ended up using it. But it'd be nice to be able to have that kind of, like, fine control. But that definitely has to be on one of the ships that I've already, like, completely revamped the physics to. So that it would sit happily. Aft still spinning. Just trying to stay in that net zero, but I know that aft is just a swinging. Back onto the Disney buses, by the way. We're going to be one of the last people off the ship. This is one of our very first times that we actually get to be one of the last people off the ship. Uh, regardless of how much they just want to kick you off sooner than later. Um, we are going to stay as long as we possibly can because we don't have to be to the airport until uh, quite late for that three o'clock flight so we figure we'll just kind of like tiptoe off the ship and get things ready to go hopefully it won't be like when we were coming to vancouver on the last cruise or at the end of alaska i can't remember which one where they actually ended up blocking off ella's potty area and i remember having to like go to an officer because like, like the crew didn't know what to do and i went to an officer and i was like um this is layman's terms, okay? So, so don't don't think that I actually talk to them like this. But it was, uh, you can either unblock that so I can let her go potty, or she can poop on the floor. The choice is yours. Essentially, is the conversation that was had. Um, which they were perfectly fine moving that. I'm watching that that rear, so I'm pulling us forward ever so slightly. It should still, no problem, pass by there. But I don't want any surprises so keep that going very nice I don't want to overdo it checking the digital of course the digital is not 100% accurate either yep right by the P recording of this and that's what we're going off of for our physics so we'll get that back down Seems like we've cleared it, which is awesome. Hi, Izzy. Hi, I'll always say hi. So I know you guys can't see it, but Izzy's saying hi to me right now. And I know I've seen a lot of people make like content and stuff in there. They'll kind of like either push their dog aside or, you know, yell at them for trying to distract them because they're, they're trying to focus. And I get that on certain things, but at the same time, I've kind of gotten to the point where I'm like, any time any one of my dogs wants any sort of attention, within reason, not being a pushover, not being, you know, an undominant parent or whatever, um, but if they come to me and want love, and if I'm just playing a video game, they're going to get all the love, even if it interrupts the video with you guys, because one, you guys don't care, and statistically speaking, and I'm perfectly fine saying this, very few people make it to this video, part of the video. Uh, people watch the beginning or they jump around because it's just the world that we live in now. Um, if you happen to make it this far, hi. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Thanks for making it that far. It's been cool so far to be able to do this, and I hope to keep on doing this for you guys. With you guys, actually. I can't even say for. It's with. Okay. So where does the aft sit now? Yeah, okay, that's perfectly fine. That's good. How's the bow looking there? Yeah, that's good. I'm good. I can start shooting us over with the aft. And I'm I'm just letting this tick backwards up to like 
2.3 just to continue to get us in position. There's the 2.3. I think it's exactly at 2 is when you have to start going to a different um, level of thruster. Actually, probably can get that down to a knot and a half just because we don't have that much further to go. At least in a, in a backwards for, formation. We still got a more parallel that we need to get going over there. But trying to get it to kind of work together. Put that throttle actually on just a bit going in the forward momentum to help uh, counteract that the thrusters that are actively also pushing us backwards with a little bit of wind here in Port Canaveral as well. We had beautiful weather the whole cruise. I hope that we actually have that in real life. So I'll be filling you guys in on that post-cruise. I'm going to kill the thrusters there to let us drift. I'm going to kill that so I can let that just let us naturally start to slip in here. <clears throat> now I am probably going to have to stop us from drifting over too far. Really just want you at one and a half for now. Looking good. This is one of the things that I don't see a lot of people do, by the way. And people are like, oh, I hit the dock, or, you know, why, why can't I do this? Like, one of my biggest things is what people need to remember. And sometimes I rush it, especially in these videos. I feel like I've rushed it a lot. Um, you got to slow down. <laughs> You've got to slow down. I see people coming in so fast and doing uh, docking procedures um, so quickly. That's like, that. that's why you're having issues, is uh, you're hitting things, or... You're not doing it uh, how it actually be done. I'm not saying you need to be a stickler for doing it perfectly. Like, right now, I just came dead in the water because uh, I, I drifted enough where I ran out of momentum. That wouldn't happen, you know, in real life. So, so you got to find a, a fair balance and not be aggravated if you've got to adjust some things. But it just it takes practice and it takes time to figure out exactly what you want to do and how you want to do it and what fits better with your comfort level and what what are you looking for I'm looking for usually I want something that looks pretty realistic especially while making videos for you guys almost there Red zero we'll start letting that take its course push forward and this is about as close as we can get to the dock. And we'll talk about the box at some other point, by the way. So I can show you guys what we're talking about when I'm like, oh, the box isn't the right size. I'll show you as soon as we're done docking here. Yep, that's awesome. We are pretty much exactly on time. We are supposed to be uh, pulling into the berth at 6.30. It is exactly 6.30, y'all. Two... One... Static, freeze motion, drop lines, which I, I wish there was a different process to this, but obviously there is not. We come here, we go here. It's supposed to be, for, for if we were just using these, it's one forward, uh, sorry, two forward one aft, you know, if you only have three. Ooh, sun's coming up. Very nice. So I'm trying to keep that. I do hate when that happens. You're not in the right spot. You're not in the right spot either. That's that's bizarre. I also hate when it gets kind of locked. There's that. I know Disney has bullards over here, so I'm just going to put them over there. And there. 
There's that, there's this, and we can actually turn off the running lights, because we are here and docked here at Port Canaveral. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to the very end of the cruise, and thank you guys for taking this journey with me. I want to show you guys something really quick. What I mean by box, so this is the box of the ship. This is where it lets the game know where the outskirts of the ship are. So with things that will interact, it will bump off. That's how it works. And you look, this end of the box versus the end of the ship is, is so great. So when I go in and I kind of fine-tune these things, I will squish it in a little bit more so that the ship can butt right up against the dock. Because the dock, depending on the dock that you use, is a solid object. And if you have collisions on and you have a solid object like this line, like the box that it's in, you'll have to make that adjustment. So, had to share that little bit, but let's go here. Let's go here. Welcome back to Port Canaveral, everybody. Sorry that you have to get off the ship, but it's going to be a good one and some great things out there on the horizon. But that's going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoy what you saw, we do try to get a video out here on the channel every single day. And thank you guys for taking this virtual trip with us. And we'll see you when we get back. But with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.